Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to change file permissions. Um, so the, to change file permissions, you would need to use the command uh, chmod here. Uh, so once you create a file, you'll get 10 uh, dashes, and those dashes are going to be for the file permissions of that file. The first dash is uh, going to re represent the file type. Uh, so if it's a D, it's going to be a directory. If it's a S, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a symbolic link. If it's just a dash, probably a text file. And then the next three is going to be for user, and then group, and then other. Uh, so read is four, write is two, execute is one. So let me uh, just go a little bit more into detail as to what I mean. So now I have a uh, file or directory called Morris. Uh, so it has uh, ten, 10 of these dashes in there. And the first dash would ref is a D, which stands for the file type. It's a uh, directory. And the next three is uh, read, write, and execute. And then the following uh, three would be for the uh, group. And then the last three would be for others. So uh, let's say we want to change the permission of this file to be uh, read for user, write for group, and read and execute for others. So we would issue the command chmod425 on forward slash home, forward slash wars. And if we do an ll, you'll see that uh, it has been changed to read for user, write for group, read and execute for other. Um, so let's say we want to change it back to the user having, uh, or let's say we want to give the group um, both um, read, write, and execute. So we would issue the commands chmod uh, so we won't give any permissions to the user, so we'll keep that as a zero. Those three lines are going to be as, uh, no permissions. And the next three lines is going to be for a group, uh, and we'll give it a seven. Uh, four for read, two for write, one for execute, which equals a seven. And then the last three, which stands for others, uh, we'll give it a no permissions at all. So that's going to be a zero as well. And we do a forward slash home, forward slash waris. And if we do an LL, you'll see that uh, the uh, um, group has read, write, and execute uh, permissions. Uh, the others has no permission. The user has no permission as well. The D is still there since it is a directory. Um, so let's change. Let's give read, write, and execute to the user. So we would do chmod. 700 zero, zero, and uh, forward slash home forward slash wars. If we do an LL, you'll see that um, for the user it's read, write, and execute. Um, there's other ways of changing a file permission, but I find this to be the easiest. Um, so I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. Thank you. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.